Let me point this out. You see 80,000? It's in the center. This is the mean. OK? That's our mean. Isn't 100,000 to the right of 80,000 because it's larger? So it's to the right. So values that are at least 100,000 are, are where in relation to the 100,000? To the right or to the left? So they're asking you what percent of the bell is shaded as a right tail. This value of 100,000 separates people who make at least 100,000 to the right versus people that make what? Less than 100,000, they are to the left. OK? You guys see that there? They're asking this question. This is a picture. This is step one. This is that first step. The second step, OK, the second step is to do what? What does it say in step two? Anybody want to tell me? What does step two say? Convert using what? C is x minus mu over the standard deviation. Can you tell me what is the mean? 80,000. What's the standard deviation? 18,000. So in other words, your conversion formula really is z is x minus 80,000 divided by that 18,000. So if you tell me what x is, I can convert it to a z value. Do you guys want to know what x is? x is what? What does it say? x is a normal distribution. So they're saying, what percent of the families make at least 100,000? That's your x value. The income is 100,000. So this is x. So if I plug in $100,000, I'm converting that 100,000 to a z-score. C is 100,000 minus 80,000 divided by what? 18,000. So Z is going to be 20,000 divided by 18,000, right? And what is the value of Z then? Approximate this Z score to the nearest tenth position. I'm sorry, hundredth position. 1.11. So here's what I want to point out to you. That z is a standard normal distribution. Is that true? That's a standard normal distribution. Do you guys know for the standard normal distribution, what is the center of that distribution? What does the mean for the standard normal again? That was what? Wasn't that 0? Now, what is 100,000 as a standard normal value, as a z value? What is that 100,000? That's what? 1.11. So when I say that you just converted this normal distribution to a standard normal, what it means is that, I'm going to erase this in green, 80,000 really is 0. 100,000 really is 1.11. Meaning that that conversion looks like this. Zero, 1.11. And so if, as a z-score, a standard normal distribution, so if you compute what percent of the bell is in your right tail here, that is answering the question. That's equivalent to saying what percent of the bell is in this right tail over here. And this is the process. So step three, this is your step two. Step three says what? What's step three? Use what? The Z table to deduce your answer, meaning refer to what you guys have been paying attention to all day today. What was the key again? If you knew what percent of the bell is here, you use the right tail format. 
what is the right tail format again? You guys remember? I don't know what this is. I'm determining this. This is my answer. Is that right? This is my right tail. So how do I do this? You guys want to tell me? 50 minus what? What do I look for? Get as close as you can to 1.11 without going over. What is it? 1.1. Fine tune. 0 0.01. What do you guys see here? 0 0.0.36. Does anybody second that? What does that mean? That the key area, the key, this key area is 36.65%. Why is this the key to the problem? Because 50% minus 36.65% is what's in your right tail. What's in your right tail? What is it? 13.35%. So 13.35%, OK? 13.35% is in your right tail. Do you guys want to know what this means? This means that the IRS has determined that 13.35% of families of four have an income of at least what? $100,000. Mmm. What's our time like? Nice. Anybody have any questions on the procedure? Sure. All right. Well, I'm going to ask you more questions then. What percent of families of four, this is a four, make? One. Less than ninety thousand per year. Two. At least fifty five thousand per year. Three. Between fifty five thousand. And 90,000. Four. Between 90,000 and 100,000. Five. At least 55, less than 90, 